In today's video, we will be applying Bruno Shepard's tattoos. And for this, we will be using water slide decals. This gives it the illusion of paint, but without all the headache of trying to do fine details. And it gives it that clean, precise look. So, what you'll need to get started is a little thing of water. So put your decals in, your decals, your figure, your solution, paper towel, Q-tip, a, a solution applying brush, and another brush. I use Microset. It uh, helps with setting the decals on and it, it softens up the decal and it makes it a heat a lot better. And uh, air gun or heat gun. You can use a hair dryer if you don't have a heat gun. You don't have to have it, but I feel that it really gives it that extra um, softness and allow you to mold it and put it where you need to go. Okay, let's get started. Okay, let's get started. The water slide decals, you want to have them submerged in water for a good five minutes or so. And I've went ahead and prepped them, got them ready, because no one wants to sit here and watch paint dry, basically. Okay, so let's get started. What I'm doing first is I'm putting a little bit of that micro set onto the places where I want to put his tattoo, on his chest and on his arm. Get a nice coat on there. And let's do the chest tattoo first. Since I die cut everything, I'm peeling the excess off the sides of the tattoo, of the water slide. So here's the water slide decal. I'm going to run it back through the water just to get it wet again. Shake off the excess water. And we're going to put it on. Just going to kind of put it where we want it. Use the brush a little bit to help us squeeze out all the water from underneath that we can initially. Use this brush to help mat it down. As you see, things just don't go perfectly all the time, but that's fine. Put the tattoo back where we want it. Just more of that micro set. Dab it on there. Soak up some of the excess so it has Place to set. Just moving it around to get it where I want it. The good thing is you have time to, it's not like a sticker where you get it on there and it's there and if you mess it up you got to peel it off. This gives you some time to adjust and play with it. I'm just going to dry it out a little bit, apply some heat to the tattoo itself. Rub down the sides. I'll squish out some more of the water that's still under there or the micro set in there. I'll add a little 
little pressure. And get a little more on top just to seal it on there really well. And it'll take about 24 hours, roughly, before you can really mess with it. It'll be dry within 20 to 30 minutes. And once that happens, it's pretty much, it's there. But yeah, you don't wanna mess with it too much. You get it where you want it. And there is his chest tattoo. All right, now let's apply his arm tattoo. Same thing. We're just gonna put a little bit, a little bit more, because it, you know, possibly have dried. the excess off so we just have the tattoo itself and you want to slide off you don't want to peel off if it peels off it's not ready to stick so you want to make sure it slides off naturally on its own otherwise it's not going to do very well so now we're just going to put it where we want it And work out some of the now as you can see his arm has quite definition to it and the tattoo is like a flat object so this one here takes a little finessing it will lay down you just want to make sure you get enough of that micro set on there what that does it helps soften the tattoo well water slide decal rather and that's where I like to use the heat gun because it will also speed up the process. That way it doesn't dry while you're waiting for it to soften and it just makes a big mess. So now I'm just kind of going over it, adding a little bit of heat to it, have it on low. You don't want to put too much on there right away. You'll burn up the tattoo itself. So now we're just going to go try to lay the sides down, get it in the crevices. And you have to have patience when you put these things on. It, it's not a quick process and you really need to take your time. first couple times you try it you may mess it up you may rip it off and something may happen always have extras just in case right now I'm just kind of working it into where the muscles are and the you see how it has the little wrinkles right there on the shoulder that will all be worked out and you won't see it it's just a matter of Working it, getting it on there. Now, water slide decals you can get at any craft store. Uh, they come in clear and they come in white. Now, when you're printing on something like this, you want to use clear because you just want to have this particular set on there. You don't want to have a white. It'll have all the white where it was cut out. Um, where you would want to use white is on a dark background where the whole object is covered. So like if I was going to put something here and it was going to be, uh, say I wanted to use that as a tattoo there, I would obviously use white to go on there. But since I'm using it on the arm, I am just going to be using the clear. And again, you just want to work it on there. Get all the bubbles out. Now, 
just apply some pressure on there to help it form. You see how the wrinkles in the shoulder has gone away? So you're just dabbing it on with a paper towel, putting pressure, trying to, not a lot of pressure, just slight pressure, because you want to get inside all the spots where his arm has a, the muscle definition. And then you take a little bit of the micro set, run it on there, just to make sure everything, all the edges are sealed, everything's good to go. And you just want to liberally put that on there, heat it up a tad, you know, it kind of activates the micro set a little bit. And you just want to kind of, like I said, go through and Make sure it's laying down in all the spots you want to lay down in. All right, there is his tattoo. His arm tattoo is done and his chest tattoo was done. And I let him dry and then we'll put some more varnish on it as we did in the other video. So that's basically how you put a water slide decal on. It saves a lot of time in trying to detail paint because that would just take forever. As simple as that looks, it's not as simple as it is, as it appears. So there you go. Um, I hope you found this video informative. If not, then I apologize. If you lasted this long, thank you very much. Again, Microset, it's great for water slide decals, and you can get this at any hobby store. Um, you can also use, Testers has one as well that you can apply there. Um, both are good, and you can get the water slide decals off Amazon, or every craft store also has the water slide decals. They come. 8x10 sheet, uh, not 8.5 by 11, but 8x10, and they can also come in a, uh, I think it's 5x8s. So, and your inkjet printer will print it. All you gotta do is just cut around it. Like I said, I have a die cut machine, so I die cut all my uh, stickers and water slide decals, but uh, you can use scissors and trim it up, it doesn't matter. Any, any way you wanna work it. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. And have a blessed day.